you're gonna do the opposite leg, the leg that away from the from the wall, okay? And swing your leg back and forward. Just really swing. Let the momentum work first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then from there, face your body toward mirror. Oh, sorry, toward the wall. Same leg. You're gonna swing from side to side. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then from here you turn to the other way. Now we're gonna swing the leg back and forward. Good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10. Then turn your body towards the wall and swing your leg in and out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then from there, first thing to awesome. So keep your feet hip width apart, hand by the hip. You're gonna raise the heels up and down. Okay? Raise the heels up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold on. This time it's gonna be pausing. Lift the heels off the floor and keep small movement up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. It's gonna be even challenge when we're gonna do only one leg. So you're gonna rest the heel up only on one side. Ten, nine. Eight, woo, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then switch the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So shake, shake your leg. So before we start our yoga, let's work on the inner thigh. All right. So the first workout is going to be you stay in squat, then you move the toes one. Heel two, toes three, heel four. Then you back four, three, two, one, and you come up. So we're gonna do it for five rounds, okay? If you are ready, go. So from toe, heel, toes, and heels. Then back, toes, heels, toes, and heel, and up. Go. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Good, good. Three more. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Last two. One, two, three, and four, four, three, two, one. One more time. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. 
four, three, two, one. And now, shake, shake your leg. All right, so exercise number two. This time it's gonna be sumo squat and lunge. Again, with a sumo squat, when you do it, you're gonna try to keep your knees bent and be aligned with your ankle joint. Then slowly from that, you're gonna turn your body to one side, bend the back knee. Come back to the center, and you turn to the other side, and you back to the center. Hmm? Now, in terms of when you keep your back knees down, either way, you can let the back knee touch the floor. However, it should be in this position, right? But when you not touch, you're gonna work even harder. So the pain, like um, if you have no energy next time, you can like touch the floor, you have it? I'm fine. So push yourself, knee off the floor, okay? We're gonna do it for 10 times. Are you ready? So keep your hands together. So more squat. Then two. One. Two. Yep. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, last two, one more time, and relax. Then check, check your leg. Cool. Then the exercise number three. You keep your legs open just even wider, however. Keep your toes point straight. Or even better, turn the toe just slightly in. Not too in this way, yet. just slightly in. We're gonna start from the right side first. So you keep your right knee bent, left leg straight. And you're pausing, then you come back up. Then you go to the left, left knee bend, and one small move, then you come back up. Good. However, I check from your position, you might have to open your legs wider. Yes, and because of from the wheel, I'm not really seeing your toes, so make sure, do your best to be a toe point straight. All right, hand by your chest. So right knee bend, and then, Small move and back to the center. Left knee bend. Small move and back to the center. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Keep your leg closer. Check, check your leg. All right. So, one more move just to work on your inner thigh. Small sport, cross your right leg back, check that your left knee be aligned with the left toe, and lower your right knee down, but try not to touch the floor. Then you back to the small sport here, the narrow sport. Cross your left leg back, Check again that your right knee be aligned with your right toe. Then you come back to the center. Alright, so 
We call this one the curse lunch. Three. Four. Five. Six. Last two. Last one. And done. Shake, shake your leg. All right. So. <laughs> and from there, we're going to down to the floor. Cool. Sip some water. And whenever you are ready, we're going to stay in all four. You're going to turn your finger to the side, all right? And you're going to sway your body from left to the right, left to the right. As you try to keep the weight to the right palm, right hand. Left palm, left hand. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Then circle your body from left to the right. Sit back to chai pose. Left to the right and sit back to chai pose. Yes. Three. Two. And one. And now it was reverse. One. Two, three, four, and five. So from here, keep your finger point straight and just give me the normal cat cow stretch. Yeah. Inhale, shoulder away from the ear, chin, chest up. Exhale, push your hip forward and round spine. On lower back, middle back, upper back, chin to chest. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep your exhaling longer than your inhaling. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, One more time. All right. So from here, you're going to keep your left forearm down, face to me. All right. We're going to start working on your right leg first. So first, you're going to circle your right hip. We're going to do it slowly. So do your best to make a big circle. That's right. Four, five, uh -huh. six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we was ten. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Then we're gonna do the five hydrant when you open your leg and close. However, observe, keep your knees bent 90 degrees because sometimes people do like this. So make sure that, okay, I'm gonna keep my knees bent 90 degrees, open and close. And only 30 times. What? 29, 28, 27, 26, Woo. 25, 24, 23, 22, try to move a little faster, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, woo, happy. Last step. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. And slowly from here. You're going to tuck the toes, lift your body up, downward dog. And start to paddling your knees, switch bending the right knee, left knee. And of course, we still go to the same leg, your right leg. You're going to lift your right leg up. Slowly from here, my love, I know, it start burning. You're going to give me a big circle. On your right leg, do your best not to bend your both knees. What? Yep, do your best not to bend your both knees. Five. Four. I know, right? Three. Two. And one. And you know, yeah, that you're gonna reverse the circle. I know that awesome. I'm also crying. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and one. And you know that we're gonna have one more position from this. You're gonna keep your right leg to the side. Kick to the side, yes. Uh huh. Oh, now it's okay, yeah? All right. Cool. So are you ready to go for the same leg? You're going to kick to the side, yeah? Back to downward facing dog. Then same leg, kick to the side and tap the right toe down to the floor. Softly. Ten. Nine. Uh-huh. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend down to the floor. Keep your knees soft. You're going to give me a five times swooping cap. Lower your chest, halfway down. Inhale, flow your body forward. Then exhale. Roll your body back to side pose. And 
then start again. Inhale and exhale. So let's do it for another four rounds. Okay. Inhale down. Roll your body forward. And perfect. Exhale. Sit back. Three. Two. And. One. Then back to the center. Tuck the toes. And this time, turn to the other side. So you can see me. All of we have done again on the other side. Are you ready, my love? <laughs> Concept in a thigh workout today. But basically, it's going to be like a lower part workout. So from here, you keep your right forearm down, yeah? And face to me. We're going to circle the left hip. Yes. So you're going to turn to me this time. And you're going to circle your left leg. That's right. One. Two, three, four, uh -huh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then reverse ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, woo, four, three, two, and one. Are you ready for thirty time five hydrate? You have no option. <laughs> Either yes or yes. Ready and go. One. Two, uh huh. Three, yes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Yes, continue. Keep continue. Uh huh. Good. Good. Yes. Keep moving. Keep moving. And now 20. Last 10. Feel the burn. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. Three, two, and one. Good job. Then we have the leg circle in downward dog. Five times out, five times in. Side leg kick for ten. I'm ready. And if you're ready, let's go. Big circle. One. <laughs> yes. This one is this one is very challenged. That's true. Two, uh -huh. three, four, and all right. That's true. That's happened. <laughs> you can feel more on the other side as well. Now reverse. Five. Four, three, two, and one. And when you are ready, you're going to kick to the side and tap the toe down soft and easy. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, 
Yes, I know, right? Come on. Come on. Four. Three. Last one. And down to the floor. Another five rounds. Swooping head. Then we're going to rest in chai pose. Inhale. And exhale. Five. Four, three, two, and let's rest in chai pose here. So rest your palms, your arm, your shoulders. <sighs> Relax your forehead on the floor. Relax neck, shoulder, back, hips, thighs. Hmm. Inhale to your nose and you might sigh out to your mouth. <sighs> Especially when you exhale, let go all the negative energy, all the tension that no longer serves you. Whether those tension physically, mentally or emotionally. Slowly come up. Once again, you're gonna turn to me. All right. Lie to the right side. You keep your left knee bent. Keep your right leg straight. Kind of sexy in some way. All right. Then for me, it's gonna be more only your right buttock, right, and touching the floor. Your left buttock is going to be slightly off the floor or totally off the floor. Then point your left toe to the left side. Okay? And, sorry, you're going to work on your... Which leg? You, you work on your right leg, yeah? Yes, okay. So point your right toe and then circle your right leg. Ten. Again, circle. Also, and circle. Equally. <laughs> Two. Three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now flex your right toe towards to you. This time, again, awesome. And her lucky number today is 3-0, 30 times. You're going to kick your right leg up and touch your right heel. Okay? When you kick, you don't need to lower your right leg all the way down to the floor. So I need quick. One, two, three. Yes, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, come on, two, yes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. And I know. When you finish quick, we're not change to the other side yet. We're going to do something extra. <laughs> You're going to keep your left leg up. You see the space?
space between your both feet, right? So you're going to try to tap the lower foot toward the upper foot. Ten. Nine. Normal is more like when the muscles fatigue. We work a lot on the inner thigh from the beginning until now, and just normal like the muscles. Like again, you're gonna keep working on me again. What about you go to the chest muscle? Like now, nah, we're gonna still stick with you inner thigh. So from here, point your left toe away and circle your left hip. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reverse. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then this time, flex the left toe towards to you and kick the left heel up quickly. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, come on, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and three. Then special. So keep your right leg up. This time you're still working on the left inner thigh, right? You're gonna close the gap. Open and close the gap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right. Again, also we're gonna direct to the downward facing dog. That's right, my love. Tap your toes. All right, sit forward to first, and then you already back up to downward dog. Then paddling your knees side by side, moving, walking dog. And once you are ready, stay still in downward dog for few deep breath. So inhale to your nose, sigh out to your mouth. So be with me here, yeah? Keep your right leg up. Three legs, downward dog. Inhale and exhale. Right knee bend and gently try to touch your right tricep with your right knee. Your right foot off the floor. So, you're gonna kick it back. Inhale and exhale. You're leaning forward. Keep your right knee, touch your right triceps. Perfect. And kick it back. So give me one more time. And keep it back. Switch to the left side. Left leg up, three legs, downward dog. Inhale here, and once you exhale, left knee bend, touch the left tricep, and keep your left foot off the floor. Yes. So give me two more. One 
One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Bend back to the center. Lift the right leg up this time. Inhale. Exhale. Place the right foot between hands. Good. Then from here, you keep your left foot flat. So before you turn your face to the other side, you might have a look first. We're going to come up. Actually, you know what? You turn towards me this time. Yeah, change your leg and turn towards awesome. Mm -hmm. Come all the way up. Yes. So from here, turn the left toe to the left side. And adjust the position. Your left knee be aligned with your left ankle joint. At the same time, sometimes what happens is people turn the toe to opposite side. Try to keep the right toe either quite straight or gently turn to the left side. Uh, in this way, I really want you to engage your right inner thigh because what happens is sometimes people do this way. So engage your right inner thigh. Lift your body up top. Um, at your shoulder level, so warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior, and exhale. Inhale, you try to draw your right hand to the front. Weight more to your left foot and gently lift your right leg up. And now swing your arms back. Keep your arms close to your body. Then slowly you keep your right foot foot flat to the floor and we start all over again so from reverse warrior inhale and exhale inhale right hand and exhale right foot up then swing your arms back good and right foot flat. So give me another two rounds. More time here. Do it slowly, control the movement. As you control your breathing. And back to the center. So from here, we turn to the other side. So your right toe turn to the right side. Right knee be aligned with your right ankle joint at the same time. Activate your left inner thigh. You might have to open your legs just a little wider. Yes. Arms at your shoulder level, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Then exhale. Inhale, left hand to the front. Weight go to your right foot. Lift your left leg up. Swing your arms back. Then repeat all over again. From the warrior. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You try to extend your left leg further back first before you lower the left foot down. So another two rounds. Extend your left leg further back, then slowly lower the left foot down. Last one. And 
back to the center. All right. So for here, we have another floor before we go down to the floor, stretching and be done for today. So you're going to keep your legs open just a little wider. Keep the tip of your finger touch the floor. Slowly from here, we're going to bend the left knee, keep the right leg straight. Then, slowly, we're going to stay low, right knee bend, left leg straight. So you should feel the stretch at your left inner thigh now, right? Then slowly switch side to side. Yep. Stay low. One leg gently straight. While the other leg gently bend. And keep switch. Six. Slowly from here, you keep your right heel off, left leg straight. Uh, and check, however, we want the tip of our fingers stay at the same spot. All the time. Two. Three. Yes. Four. Do it slowly. Last two. One more time. And from here, sit or the way down. <laughs> All right, you keep your right leg straight, point the right toe up. Then I want you to move, yes, your right foot to the right side. Okay, slowly from here, try to keep your right shoulder stay at the front of your right knee, pushing your right knee away and press the tip of your right hand down to the floor. And slowly from here, keep your arms long, open the chest, look up to the ceiling. And even better, you try to wrap your right arm around your right knee, keep your left hand back, and try to like, ooh, where's my hand? So, interlace your finger. And for that, the same, open the chest and looking up. Stay for the next three deep breaths. Slowly release before we go to the other side. I'm sure that this is your favorite stretch. Hold the right ankle joint with your left hand and slowly lift the right arm up over the head and if possible, hold the left toe with your right hand. And from here, twist, looking up or simply keep your eyes closed. One more deep breath, inhale. Now look down to the floor. Rest your right hand up slowly. And, ooh, the other side. Keep the tip of your finger down. Lift your butt up and switch to the other side. 
One, two, three, go! Oh! <laughs> Okay, all right, so just on easy stretch your other leg. So this time, keep your right leg straight, left knee bend, and move your left foot to the left side slightly. And now, keep your left shoulder pushing your left knee away, extend the left arm, and now keep your right arm long. And gently from here, bend at your left elbow. Keep your right hand back and try to interlace your fingers. Open the chest, perfect. Face up. And slowly release. So from here, grab your left ankle joint with your right hand. Lift the left arm up and if possible, yes, grab your right toe with your left hand. Slowly from there, do your best to twist. Turn your face up, look up. Inhale, slowly looking down. Exhale, inhale, bring your left hand up. All right. Then from here, you're going to open your both mm -hmm. So, open your leg as much as your body allows you to do so. All right. You might just try to circle your toe. Paddling your feet up and down because from here you're gonna keep your fingers stay at the same spot. You're gonna try to lean in forward. Think about you try to point your toes down towards the floor. So let me show you. It's gonna be this way. Ten. Nine. So you see that nothing to do much about our upper body. Ladder is more about point the toes down. Point the toes down. So five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Then from here, hug your elbows with love. You're gonna circle your body from one side to the other side. Usually, when you try to circle and you're leaning forward, you're going to feel the stretch at your inner thigh, right? Three, two, and one. And reverse. So, three. Two and one and back to the center. You know what I'm gonna let you do next, yeah? First, you're gonna try to point the toes down as close to the floor as possible. And second, you're gonna try to walk the tip of your finger forward. Check, yeah, we want our back to be straight instead of rounding the back. So Relax your shoulder and think about you try to draw your chest forward, not downward. And I know not about thinking about you're going to do as well. <laughs> let go the weight of your legs down to the ground and start to let go the weight of your belly down closer and closer to the ground. It's time for me to show off, right? So eventually. When you practice every day, each day, five hours, no kidding. If you practice every day, more or less, you should see and feel that you become more flexible. You're able to open your legs wider. 
you're able to handle the pain from the stretching and you're able to stay longer in particular position. And slowly lift your body up. Walk the tip of your finger back to the center. We're gonna bend the leg one by one without use the hands. <laughs> uh huh. You're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> From that, it seems like, yeah, we're gonna finish soon. Not really, my love. Let's do the butterfly move. So you keep your knees open, inhale here, exhale, push your knee down as much as your body can towards the floor. Inhale. Ah, and exhale. Five, four, three, Two and one. Then from here, rotate your body from one side to the other side. Three, two, and one. Hello, and now we reverse. <laughs> Five, four. Three, two, and one. From here, number one, push your knees down towards the floor as you stretch your inner thigh. And slowly from that, you're going to start to walk the tip of your finger forward. Then again, keep your arms long. Lengthen your spine. Drop the belly down, not the chest down. Every time you walk the tip your finger forward, you can feel that your stretch, your inner thigh, open your hips a little wider, little wider. Five, four, Three, two, one, and walk to keep your finger back. All right, so we're going to end with this restorative position. You might have a look first. If you have the cushion next to you or try, sometimes you can do without use the cushion. You're going to move from this position, right? You're going to move the heels a little bit forward, all right? Keep your right arm under the right calf, left arm under the left calf. Try to sway your body side to side, and mainly you're going to try to lower forehead close to your feet. And relax in case, like, <laughs> awesome, what are you talking about? You do the same thing. But you get the cushion to support you. Higher would be better. Uh -huh. And if you feel like, oh, I want to get the higher cushion. Alhamdulillah, my son is next to me, so he can help me to bring another cushion. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, no, mom. I'm already relaxed. So adjust your posture until you feel that you're able to relax your face. So usually I prefer to turn the face to one side and after some time you can turn the face to the other side. So you don't hurt your neck. Alright. Inhale to your nose, slide out to your mouth. Once again, I just want to make sure from the portion I see from you. Repeat. If the cushion higher, it would be even relaxed when you rest in this position. Because we don't want 
to hurt our back. Aha! Uh -huh. Very good, son. And from here, keep your eyes closed gently. Inhale to your nose. And whenever you sigh out to your mouth, let go all the tension that no longer serves you. Uh. Let go the weight of your head, your neck, down to the cushion, down to the ground. Relax your shoulders. Relax your spine. Now let go the weight of your thighs down to the ground. To allow our body to be relaxed, allow our mind to become calm and be in peace. We're gonna make the sound of OM for three breaths. Each breath that you say this word, feel the vibration, feel the positive energy, travel all the way down to your inner thigh. The part that we work hard the most to do. And if you are ready, take a deep breath. Oh. Oh. 